and today I'm hoping to get this beast built. This is the Magical Fun Fair roller coaster. Set number is 41685 and it has 974 pieces. Retails in the UK for 79.99. That's about eight pence per piece. And as you can see from the corner of the box, you only get in this whole massive set, you've got four minifigs. Andrea, Stella, Camilla, and Claire. Um, I don't think Andrea and Stella come in either of the other packs. It's a while since I've built them, but I know Camilla is in the fairground stalls and Claire is in the caravan. This could well be in one of the others, but look how cool this looks. Apparently there is a magic trick. It looks like a vanishing box, some description. So I'm looking forward to having a play with that. But look at the actual roller coaster with the rabbit in the top hat at the top. I think I'm going to struggle getting all this one on camera when it's built, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, Lazy Stella's juggling, so that makes me think that maybe she comes with the Ferris wheel and slide. Gonna have to have a look back, aren't I? So on the side of this box, you can see you've got the detail of the rabbit and some of the other bits and pieces this side it's just the scattering of small parts that are in there and on the tippy tippy top tip top top you can see the one to one is the mini doll and i say they're about an eighth of an inch taller than a minifigure that's the guess i haven't actually physically measured them but the same when you put them next to each other an eighth of an inch no more and on the back it gives you a lot more detail of the roller coaster so that's the main roller coaster building there with it appears to be a cloth big top tent so that's quite interesting magic trick magic trick so we've two magic tricks apparently bit interesting to find out so because this is one of the big sets all taped up I promise i keep saying i'm going to get an exacto knife i really will one day there we go Quite a bit in here, I would have thought. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought all the track would have been loose bits, but they've uh, put them all into a bag. So I'll put that across here. The other bit I was looking for. Break into that after. So, how many bags do we actually have for the build? So the highest number appears to be eight. Seven, I've seen six, I've had my hands on six, there it is. Six, five, four, two bags of three, two and one, and then you've got a bag here which has got something in a cardboard box, so that's going to be a skirt or a cape, I would have thought, for one of the figures. Um, some white track and the two yellow circles and then the black track for the main roller coaster. There's also a separate card back bag here which is all the bits for the big top tent. Quite like the fact that that's not one big piece that you're actually putting them together so I'm looking forward to that little bit. Looks intriguing. And cut open the bag with all the books in and I say all the books advisedly I'll show you in a minute holographic stickers again there's a little bunny yeah. I really really don't mind those stickers so what do we have book wise book one book two Book three. Book four. Why they couldn't have just put it all in one big book or across two books? Really, really don't know. Um, so the breakdown is book one is bag one, which is the little fairground ride with the yellow circles. I don't know what it's called. I have no idea. 
That's quite cool. She seems to have a fire juggling thing going on there. That just steps you through building that one little building. And this is the booklet with... Oh, it's got everything in the back of this one. So we've got the advert for the range. So you've got the roller coaster here, and that's the ride that this bag builds. You've got the Ferris wheel and slide, the caravan, the fun fair stalls, and the acrobatics thing. You've got the school, the hotel, and the shopping mall on that side. And then the entire park list, the whole set at the back teal brick separator I always like it to be the teal one and then the advert for the product feedback booklet two is a lot of little sideshow bits and pieces which I didn't even know were included so that's quite nice like a little folding table and a little looks almost like an ice cream freezer but we'll find out when we build it and there's the magic trick with the vanishing cabinet so I'm not sure how that's going to work but we'll have a play and this one is advertising the what I call the forest range so you've got the sailboat and the camper van got the little waterfall set there forest riding centre and the little log cabin type place um i think this is for a lego app of some description i have no idea i'll have to it's that it just says rebuild the world book three surely we must be getting onto the roller coaster now yeah, so bags three, four and five, that's how far we get with the coaster. So I'm going to guess the last one is to do, the, this is, seems to be the actual main coaster building, the main base of it. God, this thing is going to be enormous, isn't it? Yeah, so this is the main base and then I'm guessing the next book is going to step us through putting all the um, carts together and putting the track down. So that literally, whoops a daisy. Um, goes right up to the back page of the book and look for yep yeah, so this is the track so it looks like the track doesn't actually connect to the building itself it sort of the building sits inside it that's quite a nice idea it allows you to I suppose set things up however you want if you build the more than one of the fairground sets. To admit, I'm wondering if I can get my um, hidden side roller coaster merged in with this one. I'm more wondering where the hell I'm going to put the damn thing when it's finished. Yeah, so it shows it there with the building inside the track. Oh dear, this is going to be a swine. Yeah, I saw 974 pieces, four booklets. It looks very large. It looks very, very fun. It also looks like about three hours worth of consistent building and I'm not really on a consistent build schedule today. So I'm gonna go away, take my time, um, get this built up as best I can and I will be back very soon and let you know what I think of it and we can see exactly how massive this turns out. Because even when I read the dimensions on the website, means nothing to me until it's physically in front of me if it's anything greater than 12 inch forget it 12 inch i can visualize 12 inch is an album and i am old i remember albums so right genuinely going now i'll be back very soon so that's the uh funfair roller coaster built uh two and three quarter hours so it's quite a substantial build and um, I've kept my little box because I can never remember the names of them all so I'll put the box there and lean over so we've got this one here this is Claire who we've seen a similar outfit before the little pink asymmetric skirt and everything 
the moulded skirt, uh, skirt piece and then you've got the weird plasticky papery fabricy holographic print skirt overlay and the long hair and obviously just the front features then we have this one I'm pretty sure is Camilla uh, because of the pink ponytails and she's wearing a turquoise and gold print just a plain gold back just it swivels around quite loosely and the world's worst magic wand put it back on there then we have that I think I can remember now and um, this one is Andrea who's very looks very much the uh, ringmaster there quite a nice hairpiece on that one but I think Stella who is the fourth and final figure has the best hair molded hair of them all and she's in the black and white look at the awesomeness of that moulded hair piece I think that's really cool and she's got her little spinny fire thing not quite sure what that's supposed to be so I'm going to leave them all on there just so they don't fall over because I'm going to need them to demonstrate things so I'll push that out of the way some of the little ancillary builds that you do you've got the little signpost there the little balls on the top are the glow in the dark again not sure why they've gone with that for this thing but I'm not going to argue then we've got a little stall it's got some balloons at this end and then just open tabletop so you could put whatever you wanted on there there's the little magic stall which has got the bunny look at the cute little bunny with his uh, top hat a flower some cards there got a little table there where they're clearly blowing the balloons up because you've got a balloon there ready to go and you've got a little helium tank there and then we've got two magic trick stations before you get to that so one of them is this little chest it's got a little question mark sticker on the top and when you open it up oh it's empty closet abracadabra and so there's a little pink heart in close it again abracadabra open it up oh and it's back because I did it wrong there you go and it's disappeared again so that's, that's a fun little one but the vanishing cabinet is perhaps my favourite so you open it up and we need a volunteer Preferably somebody that isn't holding anything. So put her in. Whoops, a daisy. Hello, we've got Andrea in as our volunteer. Close the door. Abracadabra. Open the door, and you can see she has disappeared. Close the door up. Abracadabra. And there she is. She's back again. So it's really simple operation, but I think it's quite fun and effective. Quite chuffed with that, but I am easily pleased. So then the next is the acrobat wheels. And for this, I need two of you. So we need one here. They do fit, I'm just useless. And then one here. See, they sort of balance each other out weight wise. A little bit closer than you can see. And you just turn it back here. And if you give it a good spin, you can just let them move round and round and round. That is actually a really simple build, and it's I think it's quite fun. Oops, take them both off. And again, these little finials here on both sides, 
glow in the dark. I'm starting to see a bit of a pattern emerging with these. Yeah, so am I. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is this, which is the grand stage. So you've got these at the back that spin round. Do you know, they'd spin more effectively if they'd been bushed on right, wouldn't they? Ay, ay, ay. There we go. So you can spin those round and the show's on. You've got a little platform there. I do like the shaping of it. This is quite a fun scalloped edge. I really do like that. But the best bit is at the top, you've got Mr. Bunny sat in his top hat. But Mr. Bunny does that. Mr. Bunny peeks out. <laughs> Not a feet a function I was aware of, but Mr. Bunny peeks out. And he can stay out like that. Or you can release him. Um attaching these is quite difficult at the top. The bottom ones are nice and easy, but at the top, a little bit challenging, but you do need to put the top end on first. Otherwise it's nigh on impossible. But on both sides it's got little bits to clip onto so you can attach the side pieces which I will show you those now so the first one you make is this popcorn stand so we've got the little hooks at the side there so they clip on can I just say I love this sign I think this is such fun it looks so cool and because it's on a hook you can fold it out of the way move it forward you can have it at a slight angle You've got the little popcorn machine at the back with a couple of bags for popcorn. You've got computer monitor there. At least I assume that's what it's supposed to be because we clearly do the ride photos here as well. And you've got a nice little storage space there. And then the second one, it just has a big star on the front. Nothing special about it. When you turn it round, you realise it's a dressing room the stars of the show and we've got the juggling pins up at the top here it's got a lipstick and a brush and a hairbrush a little mirror which is a sticker a uh, little vanity chair these are cool these little stickers here then uh, come on girls over here these are the little carriages that you build little bunny faces, bunny ears and little glow in the dark bunny tail which are quite cute and the track itself I'm not going to be able to get it all in I know I'm not um, so you've got this section here where you come up and you go through a little cloud that swings open and you go around just a little hill and down this side here you go and then see what you don't do is that you knock everything over there we go um, and you come down this side and knock that out of the way and you come down through there back round to the beginning and they just I mean you can run it either way it really doesn't matter you literally just clip on the track like so push it up push it in a bit nearer than you can see and just tip whoops and push it down oh you see it's stuck up so I'll put the little pink one on. And you just naturally come to a stop at the bottom there. So 
So you can't like the schedule all the same carriages as are used on the big roller coaster. You can't actually link them in together. Oh, obviously we need to have the bunny tail. So we'll put those there. We'll start trying to assemble it all. If I can stop catching things and pushing them onto the floor. Put that in there. I'm not going to connect everything just purely and simply because I've got to move all this after. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see this, I can tell already. Um, put that this corner. Yeah, and it clears. So, magic cabinet, magic box that on there install brooms signpost and then we can start putting our ladies in so we'll put her there I'm basically gonna put most of these oops you don't need to take a bow love you can go in there. Oh, you can't go there. You need to be down here next to the magic cabinet because you need to go up there doing your thing. Not sure you should be quite so near the balloon machine, but never mind. So, that is the magical fun fair roller coaster set number 41685 974 pieces and retails in the uk for 79.99 took me two or three quarter hours to build which i don't think is too bad when you consider the size of the set it goes together really well i'm very very pleased with the build of it um the functionality is great there is a lot of play to be had with this even if you don't have any of the other sets this works superbly it's got everything you could possibly need it really is a great play set and put on shows with the mini dolls and mini figures do all sorts um so yeah definitely a five star set well worth the money on this one so thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed that video have a great day and i will see you all again very very soon Bye-bye.